Japan watching their countrymen go at it, uh, so as well as our European friends. A lot of people have been tweeting me their setups from mm. watching. They have oh, like, multiple monitors. It makes me so happy like seeing the Evo parties. Yeah. Obviously, we'd love to have you here joining us in the room to smell the smells. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thrill to the uh, well, <laughs> the crowd reactions. It's been in fuck. Yeah, it's been really just great. Right, right. And e fun, the best fun, thing fun. about it, though, is that I've been getting all sorts of people from Colombia, from UK, from, you know, all over the United States tweeting me their setups, watching this. Some people are like, I'm in it for the long haul. Long haul. I purposely messed up my sleeping schedule <laughs> so I can stay up and watch this through the night. Shout outs to you guys. You guys are the warriors who are in it for the long run. And we've got a great match here going on. Another Japan versus Japan battle doesn't opt to juggle there. Even though he anti-aired with the focus attack, it's going to be MB, a great M Bison player, up against Kendebu, uh, a man we first learned about on Third Strike, who's yes. made the transition to Street Fighter 4. Very talented guy. Also, a, a, a previous uh, CVS2 EVO champion. That's correct. Uh, defeating Ricky Ortiz in one of the grand finals. Oh, and Elena dances out of the corner and now has Bison back in there. Bison just wanting to get out, willing to pay the price in life with a punish from Elena on the slide. Yeah, but immediately you see just the, right away, he's back in the corner, just like that. Yeah, such great corner carry pressure. Bison too slow to be able to punish in that situation. Now just shamelessly building meter, trying to bait something out from Bison. This should be a good situation, or as good as it gets for Bison in the open field here. But great reaction to block that EX Mallet Smash and get the proper punish, and then chase down the back dash with a, a tricky cross up. Scissors. She's gonna find that healing. And it's so frustrating when you fight against that Elena to see her gain that oh, life man. back. You just have to accept it. Ooh! Very frame nice link. Trap with yep. the back roundhouse. Yeah, counter hit gets the link. Kindevu. AKA the Golden Fatty. That's that is, that is literally what his name means. Yep. Uh, Golden Kin, uh, and Debu is uh, like Piggy. Nice crouching fierce. Uh, Anti-air option that's become somewhat more viable recently. Oh, got him with the cross-up, but just didn't finish the combo off. And then standing up in the middle of the uh, Link's tail. Yeah, it's those short, short combos time. are two-frame links, so it is difficult, but to be able to compete at this level, that's the kind of thing you got to make the most of. Yep. And I think he caught MB just as he was planning his approach. So difficult. Oh, yeah. There's the punish. punish. Oh, and he's going to go for it, too. Red focus right into Ultra. Get as much damage as he can get now. Look, M. Bison doesn't have a lot of opportunities to land his Ultra. you got to take it when you can. Exactly, and that is one of the liabilities of M. Bison in general as a character. He's got great general control and some solid, solid pokes. But it's hard. Oh, that's going to close Whoa, it out. Oh, so smart stuff, yeah. Very clean rounds from Kendebu there. He's looked like he was in control the whole time. I was saying, basically, Bison has a hard time coming back. Yeah. That's what I was, mm, yeah, was yeah, going to yeah. uh, <laughs> draw it out for a while and talk you through it. Oh, uh, we all thought he was yeah. going to just let the Link's Tail finish, heal, you know. Then he got the FADC and said, oh. you know what, I'm going to finish this now. Bison crouching completely under it. And Kendebu just peppering him with those shorts. Keep yeah. him on his heels. Probably one of the best slow jabs in the game I've mentioned on the other stream. Super fast, leads into some decent damage. Great range, too. Yeah. Ooh, wow. wow. Nice chase down. And he devils reverse right to the wrong side. Elena with an easy, solid punish. Okay. Runs into the scissor kicks. Mm, no, okay, didn't hold it quite long enough. Didn't get the crumple. And, and now here we go. Kim what Debu. troubles me about this MB match here so far well, let's see if he can survive this assault. He just wants out, burns the meter, finds an opening, but drops it again. Yep, too many low shorts. Wasn't close enough for that many. He's just trying to build charge, and that's what it is. He tried to dash in and mix it up. You cannot apply pressure to Elena that way. Mm -hmm. Not able to get it done. What troubles me about MB is basically it seems like he's trying to figure things out while the match is in progress. Right. He's looking for answers, and that's really scary to me because that's very difficult to do at this stage in the tournament. Yeah, especially against a character like Elena. Elena's one of those characters that you just have to know how to fight already. Exactly. Just because of weird hurt boxes, you don't know if up your combos work. And, and then another drop. Oh. Another drop here from MB. Tournament nerves possibly starting to get to him. And there's the trick for right there from Elena. Sometimes you don't know if she's doing the roundhouse or the forward version of this move. And so you can't tell if you have to block four hits or two hits. Hard to punish properly that way. And that's been the real struggle of MB in this match, is after a block scissors kick with Bison, wow, this is gonna be right down to it. This match point Kendebu, okay, burns the meter to make him safe. But he found the knockdown anyway. 
He's got to make it happen. He's got no meter. He's going to have to get this done the hard way. Ops for the raw jump in. Okay, there's the standing forward, which you see oh, very little of. Just caught the scissor kick while it's still grounded. It has yeah. to be grounded at the start so that it can still FADC. And so in order it got to make kicked it down there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah, this is just a real, I think you, you, you put it simply and, and eloquently. It was basically with Elena, it's just, Elena's not the most creative character. Like mm -hmm. she's, she's gonna play the way she's gonna play and you have to be able to push her off her low short shenanigans game. She's gonna sit back there and he just wasn't really able to do that. Right, After that right. block scissor kick as a Bison player, you expect to have some frame advantage and create some opportunities. Every time he tried to create off that, he ran just into the low shorts again. Right, exactly. And uh, Kindevu's execution was excellent throughout, and he closed it out. So very strong round from Kindevu. Uh, shout out to MB, he will be headed home, so. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's rough when you have your uh, Japanese players eliminating Japanese players, but you know what, US is not. <laughs> <laughs> immune to that either. We have SoCal Speaking versus which, SoCal coming yeah, up here. These guys from the same same arcade. Uh, shout outs to the uh, the super, super arcade, arcade struggle <laughs> and the c continuing travails yes. as they're looking for a location but that it, can play home to these two fine gentlemen again. Yeah, I'm really inter it's interesting to me that Velociraptor though, according to our our messages here, lists himself as Arizona. He's from Arizona originally. Is one of those guys, huh? Yeah. Like I how I still so. talk about being I'm I'm from Chicago. Right. So I haven't Midwest. lived there in 10 years, <laughs> but uh, still Midwest. That's right. And I still claim...